All right, hello everyone. As we all know, I love finding you guys different cash advance apps to use in a pinch. Today I have found a new one. It's actually on a website and it's called super.com. And today we're gonna be reviewing it and seeing if super is actually a super choice or if there's some sketchiness going on. So this website is called super.com and it was actually formerly known as Snap Travel. First it was offering travel discounts, but it's kind of morphed into one big super app. These are popular in Asia. You can basically do everything in one place. You can use this app for cash advances for super pay which is like a credit card attached to its own bank account getting discounts and cash back on travel and discounted prices on gas phone plans and insurance policies kind of an odd mix of everything but you know if it works it works this app has raised 85 million dollars just this year so having two names for this app snap travel and super.com can kind of like make things a little bit muddled however we find this data to be slightly suspect because on the play store we can only find 500 100,000 downloads compared to the 5 million that they claim to have. It also ranks number 183 in finance on the App Store, which is not super impressive. And in the Play Store, it is under the travel category. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and break down the cost of using the Cash Advance, and then we're gonna go into people's opinions and reviews that we found about this app. So first of all, if you wanna take out a Cash Advance with super.com, you have to be a member, and that is a flat rate of $15 a month for the subscription fee. For the P. No. That is a flat rate of $15 a month for a subscription. And that's going to allow you to take out the cash advance. Already, it's starting to get a little bit pricey. The advances themselves take up to three days to process. And there is an express fee like most apps. And this ranges from $3.99 to $6.99, depending on how much you are able to take out for the cash advance. I should also mention that the limit for the cash advance is $200. And you can get that with no interest, no fees, and no credit check, like most cash advances that I've reviewed here. And you also probably won't qualify for the full 200 at first because that seems to be the trend among most apps. You'll start being able to borrow a smaller amount first and then gradually as you build history with this app, you'll be able to reach the maximum 200. So on top of the subscription fee and the express fee, we also have a tip, which is usually 15%. This is not mandatory, but we just like to include it. So overall our calculations, if we were to take out a $100 cash advance with super.com and we wanted our money instantly, so we're paying the express fee and then we're also leaving a $15 tip, that's going to be $34.99 just to take out a cash advance, which compared to the average of most of our cash advances that we've looked at, those results are not great. <laughs> don't take out a cash advance with this app. Just don't. The average price of cash advances has gone up in the past six months, and right now it's at about $19.08, which is still way lower than the $34.99 that you would pay to use super.com. Luckily, I would assume most people are using this app to get like the full range of features, but if someone is using this solely for a cash advance, please don't. Okay, so now that we have the cost breakdown of this app, let's go ahead and look at people's reviews. So surprisingly, a lot of people are actually fairly happy with this app, but the problem is most of these reviews are talking about the travel aspect of the app and not necessarily the cash advances. It appears as though a lot of people are getting screwed over by the app and they will overbook and then when the person shows up for their reservation, it will magically disappear with no room available and no record of the transaction. So that is fun. And then there's a ton of people questioning its validity. They're saying is super.com legit. There is also really bad customer service. It's looking like a lot of people aren't getting their issues resolved. One tiny green flag amongst the pile of red ones is that the company does seem to be pretty responsive to complaints. So at least that's something, right? Since I was on the app, I kind of took a look at some of the cashback offers and and some of them didn't seem that bad. The problem is they were one-time use only or only available for 14 days after you subscribe, though it isn't the greatest long-term. There's a 30 cents off a gallon for gas offer, but it's a headline offer, so that's gonna expire after one use. There was also 8% off of CVS, which is probably a deal that's kind of hard to find in other places. So that might be something worth looking into. However, if we're just looking at this app in terms of cash advances, it's horrible, don't do it. <laughs> there are much better options, which you can see us review in some of our other videos. If you have, <laughs> I can't talk, why? <laughs> why? As always, if you guys found this helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell, which will give you notifications each time we have a new review up. Also give me a little thumbs up as it motivates me to keep going. All right guys, good luck out there in the cash advance world and I will talk to you in the next video.